What's up guys, Eddie on Marquez 702 here making another news update on Fire Emblem Fates for the Nintendo 3DS. So guys, in our last news video, or just discussion video in general, we talked about the, um, the topic about Nintendo removing the petting feature in the game, and how it was such a big deal for many people, um, maybe even including myself since I did think it was unnecessary. But um, today guys, we're going to be talking about the newest trailer released from Fire Emblem Fates and just Nintendo in general because Fire Emblem Fates is going to be coming out in about maybe two weeks or so. So everything's really exciting for that and um, I'm super excited as well for the game as you all know. And um, just recently on the eShop as well, Nintendo has released yet another trailer and has actually released a pre-purchasing option for the game uh, for both versions. So that's really cool. Um, they're letting people download the game a little bit earlier so that way they can get straight into it um, once they get it and everything like that. So it's a very cool option. But today, guys, um, we're going to be watching a downloadable content trailer that Nintendo has released um, for Fire Emblem Fates. And um, this actually kind of raises some eyebrows for um, the fact that Fire Emblem Awakening also had a DLC feature to where you could battle other Fire Emblem related characters um, in this map kind of style. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to watch this, we're going to pause that as I am playing some Fire Emblem Awakening music, but um, yeah, we're going to go and see this guys. Oh, of course there's an ad. Oh, this is one of the Super Bowl commercials, that's cute. Yo, what's Gucci? Alright, hold on, give me a second, guys. Just need... Yo, what's good? Alright, <laughs> let's not... Let's not worry about that too much. Alright. I think we are good, my boys. Alright. You guys can see this well? Hope you can. That would suck if you don't. But, uh... Yeah, we're gonna get into this right now. Oh my god. Wait! Wait. All right, here we go. Let's watch this. Look at this. Look at how amazing this is. Two kingdoms at war. Which side will you choose? Oh my God. Or will you choose neither? There is a third path. Yeah, I'm really excited for Fire Emblem Revelation as well because that's going to be the, probably the most hype um game out of the three. Look at that. So I'm guessing the third path, which is Revelation. You're able to follow Azura or something and take this specific path. Or, look at that. Wow, that's crazy, dude. This is awesome. I'm so glad that this game has DLC. I mean, I kind of called it because, obviously, you know, if Awakening had it and this game's going to be, like, probably a lot better, why not have the DLC? And you can even encounter Krom, my boy. That's an instant yes, yes, yes. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Alright, so I believe that is the trailer. Wow. So yeah, guys, um, that was the trailer for the DLC in Fire Emblem Fates. I hope you guys actually found that interesting, because I definitely did. The reason for that is because um, you, guys, you guys got to see what exactly are you going to be doing while you're playing these DLC maps, to where you will be fighting and encountering many of the previous heroes... Um, of Fire Emblem Awakening, and just a lot of other Fire Emblem games as well, hopefully. Uh, maybe not just Krom and such, but I really found it cool, um, the way they presented this as well, because we have not gotten a trailer, um, at all, recently. I think our last trailer for Fire Emblem Fates was, like, E3? I believe so. Unless it was the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was E3, because, if I'm not mistaken, um... The Nintendo Direct that went on um, in November didn't even have a proper trailer, um, per se. It kind of just had, you know, the Bill Trinan just kind of addressing the fact that this game is going to be released on February 19th and that, you know, all the specific versions and that there's going to be a special edition. But we did not get a trailer for it. So it's very cool to where um, we can actually have a new trailer and also the fact that we have DLC trailer as well because we kind of needed to know about this at some point especially since the game's about to release and Just looking at the gameplay. It just looks so awesome. It might be the same kind of style as Fire Emblem Awakening But it definitely looks um, a lot cleaner in my opinion a lot more um, Just a more but you know I think that you know intelligent systems and the whole Fire Emblem series in general knows what they're doing at this point to where they know exactly what the gameplay should be like and um what would be best that the fans would want? So that's that's kind of the thing that I find um, enjoyable about this trailer, and just 
just gets me hype about this whole thing. Um, especially since Corrin was just released as DLC in Smash, dude. Yo, it just makes everything just so much better. But, um, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end off this video here as, um, I'm very excited once again for the DLC. Uh, there's gonna be a first map, uh, for the DLC in the game. And there's probably gonna be many more in the future gonna be released, so make sure to stay on top of that. This is very recent news as well. This was, like, released, like, four days ago, like this news was talked about, so... Yeah, a lot of people should be getting hyped about this, and just in general, Fire Emblem Fates, though, it's gonna be great, my boy. My boy, it's time. But, um, anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, guys. If you all did enjoy this video and want to keep on seeing more news or discussion videos on Fire Emblem Fates, or just any news in general, make sure to, uh, smash that like button for me. Always means a lot to me, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new, because that always helps as well. But, um, anyway, guys, thanks so much again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace, Marquezis. Stay awesome.